the Lakers with two much needed wins. They beat the 76ers 101 to 94. The Lakers, um, good to get the win, uh, but they did have 21 turnovers, so could have been a bit better with the ball in hand. They were a bit sloppy at times, just nine turnovers for the 76ers. There was a big dunk by LeBron James in the second quarter, and D'Angelo Russell tried to kind of remake that iconic um, photo uh, of LeBron James and D. Wade. I, I just had a bit of a chuckle at that. I love the energy D. Lo provides, and I just had a chuckle at him trying to remake that iconic moment. Obviously, not as good, and uh, you know it'll be tough to ever beat that moment between LeBron James and and D. Wade back in those days when they were in the Miami Heat. Um, for this game, Anthony Davis, 19 rebounds, 23 points. He also had four assists and four blocks. Um, LeBron James, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 20 points. D. Lo with 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 14 points. Austin Reeves chipped in with 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 14 points. And Spencer Dinwiddie, a nice little contribution. 3 out of 6 from downtown, 2 assists, 11 points. For the Philadelphia 76ers, credit to them on their efforts. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 27 points. Kelly Ubro Jr., 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 19 points. The 76ers, they just um, kept hanging around, especially late in that fourth quarter. You thought, gee, that they might have a bit of a run in them here. Um, Tyrese Maxey got a steal very late in the game and tried to put up a three, which really would have made things interesting, but he missed and the Lakers held on. Uh, we speak about holding on. Though. The Lakers held on in their next game against the Pacers, uh, getting the job done 150 to 145. A high-scoring contest. At halftime, the Lakers were leading 72 to 68. A few players were in foul trouble for the Pacers, so it made it tough for them at times. The Pacers committed 31 fouls in this game, and they sent the Lakers to the line a lot. Uh, and it was great to see the Lakers make their free throws uh, when it mattered most. The Lakers had a great lead heading into the fourth quarter. They were up 100, 116 to 99. So having that 17-point lead heading into the last, that's a huge advantage. But then to see the Pacers cut down that lead, not go away, and continue to fight till the end, that made the game uh, extremely close. And that, as a Lakers fan, made me nervous. I actually thought the Lakers were going to blow this game in the fourth quarter. But fortunately enough, the Lakers hold on. Um, I would have liked to see the Lakers wrap up this game um, a bit better as a team and finish it solidly. Whereas what we saw was them... Um, you know, not really put their foot on the pedal in the fourth quarter, get a bit too comfortable at times, and the Pacers have a really good run and make things close. Nonetheless, a win's a win. I'll take it any day of the week. Spencer Dinwiddie, he's getting into a nice rhythm. Well done, Spencer. Two rebounds, five assists, 26 points, 12 in the first half. A great game by him. Anthony Davis, likewise, 16 rebounds, three assists, 36 points, 15 points in the first half. A great game by AD. LeBron with five rebounds, 10 assists, 26 points. Reeves, five rebounds, eight assists, 25 points. Spencer Dinwiddie, AD, LeBron James, Reeves, 25 plus points each. And that's what we love to see. That heavy contribution from about three or four players. And that's great to see that teamwork in the Lakers, especially in this game against the Pacers. Torian Prince, a nice contribution, 2 rounds and 14 points. Pascal Siakam for the Pacers had a fantastic game, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, 36 points, just 9 in the first half, so a massive second half effort by Pascal Siakam. Miles Turner, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 20 points, 14 in the first half for him, 4 out of 6 from downtown, and Tyrese Halliburton, a very quiet performance points-wise, just with 12 points, he also had 6 rebounds and 10 assists. Lakers, these two games, great to get the win, don't get me wrong, but I wish that when we get these wins, we close them out a bit more um, solidly as a team, we wrap things up in the fourth quarter, just maybe don't make your fans that nervous in the fourth quarter, because at times in both of these games, the opposition looked promising, the opposition looked like they had that opportunity to get back into the game and a chance to win it, fortunately for us, they didn't and we held on. Against the Bucks on Wednesday, it's going to be a massive challenge, but let's hope we get a win, and let's hope it's a good one. Go Lakers! Did you like that recap? Well, if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment on this post, and share it out to your friends and family. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Want to see more content? Well, you can. Make sure to head to my Facebook page and also my Instagram page. Got more content on there and plenty more sports updates.